The universe, how big is it? Picture yourself standing outside on a clear night, looking up at the stars. You're standing on Earth, a rocky ball spinning through space at incredible speeds. This planet holds everything precious to us, every laugh, every tear, every dream that humans have ever had. But Earth is just the starting line for an amazing adventure that will stretch our minds and challenge everything we think we know about size and distance. What we're about to discover is that the universe is so impossibly large that even our biggest numbers start to feel meaningless. We'll travel step by step from our backyard to the very edges of existence itself, and along the way, we'll see just how tiny we really are in this cosmic playground. First stop, our faithful moon. Let's begin our journey with our closest neighbor in space, the moon. Sitting roughly 240,000 miles away from us, the moon might seem close, but it's actually an incredible distance. If you decided to walk to the moon and could somehow walk on a straight path through space, and you walked for 8 hours every single day, it would take you about 9 years to get there. When the Apollo astronauts made this journey in the 1960s and 70s, they got to see something no humans had ever seen before, Earth from far away. From the moon, our entire planet looks like a bright blue marble floating in endless black space. All of human history, every person you've ever known, every place you've ever been, all of it fits on that small, beautiful sphere. The blazing heart, our sun. Now, let's travel much further out to visit the sun, the star that gives us life. The sun sits about 93 million miles away from Earth, a distance scientists call one astronomical unit. This measurement becomes super important when we start talking about space distances because everything is so far apart. Here's a wild fact. Sunlight takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel from the sun to your eyes. That means when you look at the sun, please don't actually stare at it, you're seeing it as it was 8 minutes ago, not as it is right now. If you could somehow drive your car to the sun at highway speeds, the trip would take you over a hundred years of non-stop driving. The sun itself is absolutely massive, about 109 times wider than Earth. You could fit more than a million Earths inside the sun and it would still have room left over. The mysterious red world, Mars. Our next destination is Mars, the red planet that has captured human imagination for centuries. Mars orbits the sun at different speeds than Earth. So sometimes it's relatively close to us, and sometimes it's on the complete opposite side of the sun from us. When Mars is closest to Earth, it's about 35 million miles away. When it's furthest, that distance jumps to around 250 million miles. The robots we've sent to Mars, those amazing rovers that drive around taking pictures and doing experiments, had to travel for 6 to 9 months through the cold vacuum of space, typically traveling at 24,600 miles per hour to reach the red planet. The Frozen Giant, Jupiter and the Outer Planets As we continue outward, we encounter Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is so big that all the other planets could fit inside it with room to spare. It sits about 484 million miles from the sun, making it more than five times further from the sun than Earth is. But Jupiter isn't even close to being the most distant planet. Way out at the edge of our solar system, we find Neptune, sitting nearly three billion miles from the sun. At that distance, sunlight takes over four hours to make the journey. If you lived on Neptune, the sun would look like just another bright star in the sky. Humanity's greatest journey the Voyager mission. In 1977, NASA launched two incredible spacecraft called Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These robotic explorers were designed to visit the outer planets and then keep going, heading out into deep space. Voyager 1 is now the furthest human-made object from Earth, traveling for more than 45 years and covering over 15 billion miles. Here's something amazing. Voyager 1 has actually left our solar system entirely. It's now traveling through what scientists call interstellar space, the area between the stars. Even at its incredible distance, radio signals from Voyager 1 take more than 22 hours to reach Earth, traveling at the speed of light. 
In 1990, when Voyager 1 was already billions of miles away, scientists turned its camera around to take one last picture of home. Earth appeared as a tiny speck of light, smaller than a pixel. That image reminded us that our entire world, with all its beauty and complexity, is just a grain of sand in the cosmic desert. Beyond our solar system, the nearest stars. Once we leave our solar system behind, distances become almost impossible to imagine. The nearest star to our sun is actually a system of three stars called Alpha Centauri, located about 25 trillion miles away. That distance is so large that astronomers had to invent a new unit of measurement, the light year. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, which equals about 6 trillion miles. Alpha Centauri is 4.3 light years away from us. Even if we could build a spacecraft that traveled at 10% the speed of light, which is far beyond anything we can do today, it would still take 43 years to reach our nearest stellar neighbors. Our island in space the Milky Way galaxy. All the stars you see in the night sky, including our sun in Alpha Centauri, are part of one enormous collection called the Milky Way galaxy. This galaxy is shaped like a giant pinwheel with spiral arms of stars rotating around a central hub. The Milky Way contains somewhere between 100 and 400 billion stars. That's more stars in our galaxy alone than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. The galaxy stretches about 100,000 light years from one side to the other. Our solar system sits about halfway out from the center in one of the spiral arms. Here's something that really puts things in perspective. For the past 100 years or so, humans have been sending radio and television signals out into space. These signals form a bubble around Earth that's now about 200 light years across. But our galaxy is 100,000 light years across, which means our signals have only reached a tiny fraction of the stars in our own galactic neighborhood. To most of the galaxy, humanity is completely invisible and unknown. Galactic Neighbors, the local group. The Milky Way doesn't exist alone in space. It's part of a small cluster of galaxies called the local group, which contains about 80 galaxies spread across roughly 10 million light years of space. The biggest galaxy in our local group is Andromeda, which contains about a trillion stars and is actually heading towards us. Don't worry though, Andromeda and the Milky Way won't collide for another 4.5 billion years. And when they do merge, it will happen so slowly that any life forms around at the time probably won't even notice. Cosmic Cities, Galaxy Clusters. The local group is just one small neighborhood in an even larger structure called the Virgo Cluster, which contains over 1,300 galaxies spread across about 65 million light years. And the Virgo Cluster is itself part of an even larger structure called the Virgo Supercluster. These superclusters are like cosmic cities, vast collections of galaxies all held together by gravity. The Virgo supercluster stretches across 110 million light years and contains thousands of galaxies, each with billions of stars. The Cosmic Web, Linnea Kea. In recent years, astronomers have discovered that even superclusters are part of larger structures. Our Virgo supercluster belongs to something called Linnea Kea, which means immeasurable heaven in Hawaiian. Linnea Kea is so large, it contains over 100,000 galaxies spread across 520 million light years. All these galaxies are slowly flowing towards a mysterious region called the Great Attractor, whose powerful gravity is pulling entire galaxy clusters toward itself like cosmic rivers flowing toward an ocean. The Edge of the Known, the Observable Universe. As we zoom out to the largest scale possible, we reach the boundary of the observable universe, the sphere of space from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. This observable universe has a radius of about 46.5 billion light years, giving it a total diameter of about 93 billion light years. You might wonder how the observable universe can be larger than its age of 13.8 billion years. The answer is that space itself has been expanding since the Big Bang, stretching the distances between objects as light travels through the universe. 
Within this observable universe, astronomers estimate there are at least 2 trillion galaxies, each containing billions or trillions of stars. The total number of stars in the observable universe is probably around 10 followed by 24 zeros, a number so large it has no real meaning to our everyday existence. The ultimate mystery, what lies beyond? But here's the most incredible part of our cosmic journey. The observable universe might be just a tiny fraction of the actual universe. There could be vast regions of space beyond what we can see. Regions that are expanding away from us so fast that their light will never reach us. Some scientists think the universe might be infinite, stretching forever in all directions with no end. Others believe it might be finite but still unimaginably large perhaps thousands or millions of times bigger than that we can observe. Our Cosmic Perspective As we complete this mind-bending journey from Earth to the edge of the known universe, we're left with a profound realization about our place in existence. We began on a small, rocky planet orbiting an ordinary star in the outer regions of a typical galaxy. We discovered that this galaxy is part of increasingly larger numbers each one dwarfing everything contained within it. The universe reveals itself to be almost incomprehensibly vast, filled with wonders beyond our imagination. Yet somehow, on one small world in this cosmic ocean, matter organized itself into living beings capable of wondering about it all. We are the universe trying to understand itself, tiny specks of consciousness in an infinite sea of space and time. Every time we build better telescopes and develop new ways of studying the cosmos, we discover that reality is even stranger and more magnificent than we dared to imagine. We live in an age of unprecedented discovery, where we're just beginning to grasp the true scale of everything that exists. In the end, our journey through the universe teaches us humility and wonder in equal measure. We are incredibly small but we also are incredibly special, perhaps the only beings in our cosmic neighborhood capable of appreciating the breathtaking beauty and mind-boggling scale of the universe we call home.